Now, here's something you probably don't know. Single women, they'll judge your entire life without even knowing you. Now, my opinion is this is probably some sort of self-defense mechanism they have to weed out the weak men that aren't worth their time. One of those aspects that women judge most on a man is their shoe. The Observer ran a really cool survey where they showed almost 500 women over 32 pairs of shoes, different style of shoes, and also received another 2,000 plus written in responses from women on these 32 styles. That list opened my eyes to a lot of things, boys, and today I'm gonna show you the six shoe rules that you definitely don't wanna break, according to almost 3,000 women. That sounds interesting, let's hop into it. Number one, if you're a TMF OG, you probably passed the test on this one, but you know, don't wear shoes that show your toes. Out of all the women interviewed, they hated almost every single sandal style that was shown to them. Whether it was reef, slippers, Birkenstocks, Keens, Nike slides, Crocs, flip flops, it didn't matter. If it exposed your toes, they hated it. So use this as your basic rule of thumb. If you're ever going out and you're not next to a body of water, Use any sort of shoe that covers your toes because it's a better option than sandals. Number two, leather shoes are classier and women, women just love class. Women just love leather shoes for some reason because out of the top seven shoes that women rated, those top seven shoes, almost all of them were made out of a leather upper. By contrast, the lowest 10 rated shoes were all made of some other material or mostly or mainly plastic. In particular, I don't think that women just love the material leather per se, but more so that leather is seen as classier. Like you actually put that effort to get ready in the morning. And on a first date, that's the exact message you want to send her. This is why I love white leather sneakers because they're just so basic and it's that perfect medium between dress and comfort. Number three, Boots make you look more masculine. It's a chunky shoe with a solid base that adds a rugged touch to your outfit and it even makes you look taller or actually stand taller. All of this is just a recipe for being a sexy stud. You do however have to be careful because tacky cowboy boots and even to my surprise chunka boots were rated pretty low on the scale. And specifically the boot that rated the highest was a working style type of boot like that work boot, that rugged boot. Like the ones from our sponsor Thursday boot. It's that perfect in between boot where you can dress it up but it gives you that ruggedness that women found attractive. The reality with Thursday boots and why it's my go-to for boots especially for fall that we're coming into right now is that it's just so freaking affordable. Find any other boot this style and I promise you with this quality you're paying three four or even five hundred bucks for it. Not with Thursday boots. These guys kill it when it comes to the boot game. That's why these guys have been exponentially growing ever since I started working with them I think almost four years ago. These boots are so so well made. They're ridiculously well made that one of my boots that I have, literally I wore it yesterday. Yesterday I went out with my wife and I had them on and I've had them for over three years and if you follow me on Instagram you'll see them sporadically here and there. I wear them every single fall and they're still looking amazing and in fact they're getting softer as I wear them and in my opinion they're getting more character. This is why I recommend it to you guys and anybody that asks me where to buy nice boots, this is where I send them every single time because they also got Chelsea boots, they have hiking style boots, they have almost every boot style that you can think of. They pretty much have you covered. If you've never checked out Thursday boot, I'm telling you right now, you're missing out because at the price that you're going to find them here, you're not going to get them anywhere else. If you guys click the link down below, go ahead and check out all the options that they have. They have presidentials, they have cap toe boots, they have wingtip boots, and then they even have a mix of leather and suede. So they have a lot to choose from, a lot of different colorways, and the best part is, like I said, everything's handmade. The top is handmade, full grain leather. The sole of the shoe is a Goodyear welted cork bed sole. The beauty with the cork bed sole, it starts getting the natural shape of your foot. So as you, the more you wear it, the softer it gets because it pretty much conforms to your personal foot. They also have dress shoes there like double monks, your penny loafers, and your lace ups. Like I was saying previously, shoes that are made out of leather is what women find attractive. These are the grown man shoes that look like you secured the bag and that you are a man that puts effort into your appearance and that that's what women want. If you guys want to check out our sponsor Thursday Boots and check out all the amazing selection at the crazy price that they have it at now, click the link down below. Number four, don't spend a lot. And this is interesting because a lot of men think that they need the most hype sneaker to impress that girl. But interestingly enough, women aren't gold diggers when it comes to your shoes. Two out of the top three shoes that were shown to women were sub $100. And over 80% of the shoes that were shown to them were under 200 bucks. This means that price has zero to little correlation on how attractive women think your shoes are. Number five, the more stylish the shoe is, 
the more masculine you appear. Now this goes against popular belief within men because most men believe that these stylish type of shoes make men look gay or feminine. However, according to women, this couldn't be further from the truth. Women rated more stylish shoes that were made from leather as more manly, more masculine, and overall more mature. This is because in their heads, when you wear this type of shoe, it makes them think that you are more able or better able to protect them physically than that dude wearing the jade. And to be honest, even if you actually can't, that's what you want them to think anyway. And finally, number six, you gotta drop the athletic shoes. So if you're going for athleisure, you're A-OK, -okay, but usually on a first date, wearing athletic shoes is somewhat of a bad call since these were rated lower compared to other shoes. The only two exceptions were Vans and Converse and they fell in the casual sneaker department. However, if you're gonna pull up to a date in those five-toed sneakers or Asics running shoes, Brooks walkers, cross trainers, etc., you might think that you're gonna impress her with your athleticism and how sexy you are, etc., 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 but the reality is she's gonna think you're a bum or that you didn't even put the effort that you just came straight from the gym. If you want to impress her with your health, your athleticism, and your strength, do that with your body and your clothing. Make sure it fits right. You're gonna show her those strong shoulders, those strong arms, that nice tight chest, and that strong core, and that is gonna impress her way more of your athleticism than those Asics running shoes. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. I'm gonna have Thursday Boots linked down below because they got all the attractive shoes that you're looking for, at least that women are looking for, and that you should wear. If you guys wanna check them out, they'll be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.